That is so good! Yeah! <laughs> Like, I feel like you can't get any more beachy, like American beach town, <laughs> than roller coasters on the beach. Like, this is amazing. I don't know, we've heard about this for so long, and like, not from people that we knew. Like, Santa Cruz wasn't on my map really early on. Was no. it for you? No, I had no idea it even existed. Yeah, like, it, was, it was like all the California people in my life were like, you have to come here. This is our tourist town. You guys go to LA for your tourism. What? This is where we come, and I was like, the heck is Santa Cruz? I don't even know. I'm kind of like baffled right now. Like, me too. Gotta love a good boardwalk. As a lot of you know, I am from the very opposite coast. So a beach town in, on the Atlantic named Ocean City is really close to my hometown. And it's just like the beach culture, like what you think of when you think of American beaches. And so I love boardwalks. And we have a really, really fun video on American boardwalk food in Ocean City, Maryland. You should check that out. But this, I think is going to compare, like it's gonna be up there. You know what I mean? I love it! It's so beachy, it's so colorful. The seagulls are like calling in the distance. They're eating french fries off the beach. There's like circus music going on, haunted houses, fried food. This is the place to be! So I did some research and there were like two things that were like pretty iconic for this boardwalk. And one of them was this huge, like massive funnel cake that was like covered in chocolate and whipped cream and like all this stuff. And they're closed. <laughs> so the next thing was like this specific like Millie's or Mimi's saltwater taffy. So I think we're gonna try and keep looking for that. So yes, the, all the reviews were like, it is the most expensive funnel cake you will ever buy, but it's going to be the best thing you will ever eat on the boardwalk, on the beach. Thank God it's closed because we would definitely be getting one. <laughs> Eleven dollars for one, but look at this view that you get with it. Honestly, like I'm down. So yeah, I'd say this boardwalk definitely like ranks up there. It might not be as good as Ocean City, Maryland, but that's only because there's this like super long, like way too long. And I think this is a pretty good condensed version. Okay, this is what I really wanted to ride. Like I would literally pay ten dollars just get on one of these and look at the beach. Because this is what I saw when I first saw Santa Cruz. Park, it's abandoned. I feel like I'm in the Scooby Doo movie, but that's fine because Santa Cruz is amazing, and now I know I want to come back. Scooby Doo movie? Yeah. Oh! Wait, do you want to elaborate on that? Okay, Scooby Doo Scooby movie? movie? Scooby Doo movie? Okay, so Leah's giving me crap about the Scooby Doo movie. All I have to do is insert a clip. The land of a million drums, there is always something going on. And you guys will know if you haven't already that the first Scooby Doo movie in real life was at a haunted amusement park that was on an island when we were in a tropical paradise with a gigantic amusement park. Wait. I'm confused. What do you do? Put your hand in there. You're supposed to put your hand in. What? Okay, you gotta try it. I don't want to. Maybe it spits out animal crackers. Oh, the paper eater. That was, <laughs> is it bad that that was my first reaction was to put my hand in? Oh. We are so dumb. <laughs> it's to engage little children to put their litter in the trash and it nearly worked for us because we are also children so it has a long history since 1965 and then they changed him they retired him in 2001 and then he came back in 2019 so Leo the Lion saltwater taffy place it's like at the very end of one side of the boardwalk and I was like wow how much do you think it would cost for like four pieces of taffy and he was like I'll just give them to you for free as a sample I was like oh my god <laughs> here we go I got peanut butter I got red raspberry pina colada and butter toffee which one should we try first right, we're gonna try this red raspberry just kidding I want to try the pineapple 
since 1915. Marini saltwater taffy. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I like the butter one. Hold on. Oh, I did the butter toffee. Wait, that makes a lot more sense. Or like, this tastes nothing like pineapple. Very rich, like butterscotch or butter pecan ice cream. Slightly salty, super chewy. I'm surprised they're even open. The taste is amazing. Sometimes taffy tastes really fake. Are you buy taffy in a box in the Midwest? It's just been packaged like a year ago. It's just been sitting there. But this is made on the boardwalk. Fresh, as fresh as can be. It's really good. I try the other one. And it doesn't stick to your teeth. This is like actually really freaking good. It's hard at the beginning, but it does stick to your teeth. This is like what I'm looking for in taffy. That's what I hate when like three hours later you get a reminder of what you just had. Not a big fan of that. Okay, we're gonna have to buy some. Okay. This is definitely peanut butter. Mm. A lot less chewy. Mm. Look at that rich peanut butter. I don't know, the raspberry was so good, the fruity flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested to try butter now. Oh wait, it's already gone. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the new merch or not, but I'm really into new t-shirts, and the Santa Cruz t-shirt is actually what made me start asking questions about this place. They run at the same freaking t-shirt in different colors. So I'm gonna try and find it now. I think the shop behind me has it. Let's go inside. Yeah. Blue, orange, red, and green. Oh, I really like these, like t-shirts or, oh, these are sweatshirts. The line on them, see? All, they, all say the same Santa Cruz. I don't know why no one's trademarked this yet. Maybe they have and I just don't know it. For babies. Okay, I'm looking for one that's like orange and blue and they don't have it here, so we're gonna keep looking. Is this for scuba diving? <laughs> why do you have booties on your sweatpants? I guess your feet get cold in California, I don't really know. I really love that, actually. <laughs> okay, I could definitely dig this. Look at this white. Really soft jacket. Okay, I need to get out of here. Okay, we're going. So the boardwalk is right next to the wharf, which is really awesome. It looks really busy right now, and it has a bunch of stuff going on there, so we're gonna go to the wharf right now. Have you ever driven on a pier before? No. I've driven on plenty of bridges in my day, but never a pier, never a wharf. What's a wharf? What is a wharf? Let's talk about that. It's pretty bumpy. I'm not sure if I've ever actually been to a wharf, but this is not what I expected to be on one. This place has like, nine different restaurants that are like kind of fancy. Just the fact that it's like really close to the boardwalk is kind of interesting because it's like two competing like tourist places, but maybe that like combining forces like that like brings in more people. It's just kind of interesting. Like this is not what I thought it would be. I thought like a wharf would be like super like, we're grizzled fishermen and we are here making this place smell like fish and we're reeling them in and we're chopping them up and we're feeding the guts to the birds, but this is like completely not that. No. <laughs> In the distance, I can see the surfers. And apparently at the end of the pier, there are seals. Oh, we're seeing seals. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. I am so excited. Freaking seals down here. At first I thought it was a whale, and then I realized there's seals. I think everyone's over here, so I'm thinking there's gonna be more. But if I sit here and talk to you, I'm gonna miss them. So let's go. so that you can see the seals and they're like laying down on the rafters or whatever, or whatever you call this. But it's like really low tide so like there's no seals, you know, because they can't get up on here. But we just walked over and there's one sitting on, it's probably six feet above the water, which means he's been laying there all day. Like as, as the tide has been going out, he's just been laying there all day, just sleeping, which is hilarious. <laughs> so I feel like if I was a seal, it's probably what I would do too. <laughs> Across from the 
War. We're like all the way over here by the surfers and this is just absolutely gorgeous. The moon is rising. It's like absolutely full. It's huge. This is just so picturesque and there's so many surfers coming out of the water right now like climbing up the cliff. This is just crazy. Like I had no idea what Santa Cruz was going to be about. This is completely unexpected. I love this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Everyone needs to come here. Or I don't understand how I didn't know about it before. That is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> this is a minivan with pirates coming by. Like, honestly, I don't even know what's going on anymore. We got people surfing in helmets. I've never seen that before. This, this is just, it's a sunset celebration every day. I mean, we are happening to be here on a Friday, but as dead as the pier was, this is just on another level. Like, I am, my breath is taken away. I don't even know what those pirates were. Like, what's going on? Today has been spectacular. I don't know what we were expecting when we came to Santa Cruz. We didn't even show you guys the trees in the mountains. <laughs> we just like ran out of time because this city is so beautiful. We had like an entire different like plan for today and we just got really caught up in like, what's just right here, like downtown on the beach. This is amazing. I don't think this could have been a better day for us in Santa Cruz. Honestly, and we were actually gonna go to another town that's apparently the best town to retire in. Right. And it's like on all these colorful buildings and it kind of reminds everybody of the Caribbean, but we didn't even make it there. So we have to come back. We have to come back. I didn't even get my shirt. We have to come back. I don't even know what's going on because there are so many good things that happened today. Just like. It was perfect. Thanks for watching.